Gavin Williamson's ascension from Chief Whip to Defence Secretary has appalled many of his colleagues, yet it's a crafty coup they could have seen coming, as it's straight out of the House of Cards playbook. For those of us climbing to the top of the food chain, there can be no mercy. Well before Kevin Spacey's Frank Underwood slithered his way into the Oval Office, Democracy is so overrated. It was Francis Ercott, the fictional chief whip who used master manipulation to usurp his prime minister. What me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm the chief whip, merely a functionary. Like Francis Ercott, Mr. Williamson's former role as a chief whip and keeper of the Tory party's dirty secrets facilitated his ambition. When the news broke of the misdeeds of Michael Fallon, it fell to Mr. Williamson to discuss Mr. Fallon's future with him. And it was during their conversation that the then Defence Secretary is understood to have agreed that he could not be sure further allegations of impropriety would not be forthcoming. Seems rather familiar, no? Well, yes, a couple of leaks are all very well. But it takes more than that. A big scandal, perhaps. A political scandal. Or a scandal about something people rarely understand. Sex. Or money. Like Francis Ercott, Mr Williamson stands accused of taking full advantage of the opportunities presented by the shadowy Whip's office to climb into one of the top jobs in government. Indeed, we take a carrot and stick approach. But it is amazing what can be achieved with a sharpened carrot. Could he, like his fictional counterpart, go all the way and end up as Prime Minister? You might very well think that. I could not possibly comment.